It's the golden ducky of my three-year-old. Do you think I can take it without bringing down the whole Temple of Doom? Of course I can. I'm an archaeologist. Yeah, I did it. And that's actually a little bit shocking because I have a confession to make. I'm uh, actually not an archaeologist. I'm a cultural anthropologist. My name is Linda Scott, and I am wanting to talk to you today about what it is that makes it okay for a cultural anthropologist to teach uh, archaeology. Basically, um, it's because I am trained in the four fields of anthropology. There are four fields of anthropology, and I've participated in numerous digs, um, both uh, historic and prehistoric. I've also done a few paleontological digs looking at mammoths that we hope to find human tools with that didn't quite pan out that way. We didn't find human tools in association, so they turned out to be paleontological after an archaeology style dig. What are the four fields of anthropology, you might ask? Well, good for you. I have them here. Biological or physical anthropology is one of them. Cultural anthropology is my own specialty, linguistics is the third, and archaeology, the subject of our class, is the fourth. I'll talk about each one of those in a little bit more detail before we move on. Biological anthropology is the study of human bodies, human biology, evolution, regional difference, and interaction of human organisms with the environment. So there are changes to the human organism in different environments. Subfields in biological anthropology include genetics, forensics, and paleoanthropology. Uh, genetics, well, there have been some great genetic studies that have added hugely to our understanding of human evolution and the human body, including human genome studies. There have also been Neanderthal genome projects that show us um, fascinating things about our interbreeding with Neanderthals, uh, other human species. Denisovans um, have been studied a little bit genetically, and, uh, and so on and so forth. There is a whole new world of, of study opening there. Forensics is that cool stuff you see on all your favorite CSI type programs in the evening where you have the police thriller dramas with science involved. The science involved is actually biological anthropology. And paleoanthropology, which is very much, very much indeed like anthropology. They use a lot of the same tools, a lot of the same methods, a lot of the same dating methods. They're looking at much older fossils, trying to trace uh, human evolution. And archaeologists in general are looking at more recent material remains. And that's the big difference. All right. Cultural anthropology is the next of the four fields. It's the study of human behavior in present day living societies, including interactions between these societies. Uh, cultural anthropologists all tend to be specialists. They are either doing, at any given point, ethnography, which is the recording of one individual culture, or ethnology, which is the comparison between those ethnographies, between studies of individual cultures. Whoops. Also, we tend to specialize according to region. We tend to specialize according to whether we're doing studies of certain status. Uh, and we tend to specialize, too, if we're looking at certain ways in which cultures interact. My own studies are on the north coast of Peru, so I'm an Andeanist. I was studying women and the way that they form social bonds um, amongst themselves in the black markets of Peru. So I'm looking both at the status of being poor and participating in the black market, either as a customer or as a vendor. I'm also looking at gender because I'm looking at um, mostly women, sometimes men in the market there. And uh, I am looking at the way in which different societies interact because none of this would take place if Peru were not the poorest performing um, stock market in the world with one of the poorest economies in the world and that's a matter of global politics and global connections and economy so uh, you can see that culturalists specialize a great deal as as do all anthropologists linguistics is the third of our subfields it is the study of language the use of language and the way in which language changes over time or the ways in which language changes over time um, 
there are subfields, specialties within this. Kinesics or proxemics is the study of how we use our bodies and the space between us um, to gesture and communicate things without even using words. Glottochronology is the study of uh, divergences between related languages and what that shows us about how they're related. Uh, they Glottochronology works very closely with anthropology, uh, I'm sorry, with both anthropology and with uh, archaeology in that it kind of traces, it affirms those things that we discover archaeologically and in historical documents about the ways in which societies uh, segment and uh, how they are related in general. And then also phonetics, which is a descriptive process of recording what people actually say. Anyone who's heard the dis difference between vowels as they're pronounced in Texas and as they're pronounced in Boston is aware <laughs> that this is a thing. Um, descriptive linguists have a whole alphabet to themselves that is much more extensive than anything used by any individual culture. All right. And then on to our own subfield that we're studying in this class, archaeology, which is the study of material remains of human culture, uh, both in living societies and in past societies. There are lots of subfields in archaeology, as, as with all anthropologists, archaeologists are specialists, but some of the big distinctions are between prehistoric archaeology, which is um, the study of uh, remains that we find without association to written records, historic archaeology, which is uh, the study of sites that we find um, in association with with documentation, um, whether that be written records or we'll talk a little bit later about things like kipu, which are knotted records of, we think maybe tax. Um, classical archaeology, which is the study of giant imperial type cultures like the Inca, the Greeks, the Romans, the, the Egyptians, and so forth. And more, many more types of archaeological specialty exist. So we'll talk a little bit about those specialties, we'll talk about archaeology and the process of conducting it, and we will talk about the methods that are used in, in archaeology. Hopefully we will come out of this class all feeling more at home in archaeology. Um, this isn't my first time teaching it, it isn't my first contact with archaeology, but again, um, I think that all of us should feel very comfortable engaging in this uh, as anthropologists, as social scientists. So I would love to get to know each of you. I've done my goofy introduction here, and I will be happy to speak further with you on the forums about my own specialty or about uh, anything at all, and I would love to have you introduce yourself so that we get to know each other over the course of a very productive semester. Have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you more and more in the class. Take care.